Hello people, in this video we want to look at Kaposi sarcoma. So sarcoma means malignancy, right? It's malignant, neoplasm. It's vascular, that means something to do with your blood vessels. So basically under the tumors of uh, blood vessel, you can see that under malignant tumors you have Kaposi sarcoma. This one is of importance now because of uh, uh, it uh, being seen more in HIV patients, okay? So basically what is it? It's a vascular uh, tumor, this you already came to know. It's malignant that you came to know. It's proliferative tumor. That is why that's what it is malignant. It will uh, uh, proliferate. So it is vascular endothelial tumor. So it was first described by the scientist Kaposi. So Kaposi sarcoma. Okay. Some people are writing it as Kaposi angiosarcoma because it is vascular, right? So uh, where do you see? Like we told you, it is uh, in HIV patients and other immunocompromised people like diabetes people or people who have taken an organ transplant, right? It's common in black, some people are saying, some people are saying it is in Jews. And uh, like we told you, immunocompromised transplant recipients, AIDS patients, same thing, right? So uh, one thing is, it is not seen in transfusion-related AIDS. So if somebody gave you a blood transfusion and you got AIDS or HIV, in those people you will not see Kaposi sarcoma, which is interesting according to them. And uh, this um, uh, can also be caused because of human herpes virus, HHV, HHV8, that is human herpes virus 8. Guys, this is also called as Kaposi sarcoma associated herpes virus. So, which is the Kaposi sarcoma associated herpes virus? HHV8, HHV8. Okay, Kaposi sarcoma associated herpes virus. Okay, so basically what they are saying is um, the interaction between this uh, HIV and HHV, all that will uh, activate the immune system and there will be a lot of cytokines as usual. And there is defective immunoregulation. You understood that these people are immunocompromised, so Kaposi sarcoma. So what will you see grossly in this? You will see irregular purple dome-shaped plaque or nodule, okay, prominent. So uh, in mostly in the skin and in the gut, that is GI, right, and even other organs, remember, purple, purple, uh, irregular. That is why these people, you should keep the differential as malignant melanoma, okay? So basically, how will you see microscopy? There is an early patch stage and a late nodular stage. We will not be going into details of this, okay? Because if you are, want pathology, then you can look at pathology. So here they have shown you the um, microscopy. Let's move on, people. So there are types and prognosis. So you have the classic type, which is very good. It's uh, confined to skin. It's slow, lo lo long survival. But the African and the AIDS associated have bad prognosis and mortality. Okay. And then uh, these are the types, okay, based on Europe or Africa or AIDS related or uh, renal transplant, etc. And uh, let's move on uh, now after the type. So basically, what will you see as clinical features in these people? So this is more like clinical features. So basically red brown, but some people told us it's purple. Indurated, see malignant melanoma is not indurated, but Kaposi will be indurated. That means it will be hard, plaque-like, skin lesion. Okay, what were we looking at? Uh, that it is hard, plaque-like, yeah, skin lesion that becomes nodular and then ulcerate. See, even malignant melanoma will ulcerate. Okay, that is why they are telling you Kaposi sarcoma is differential diagnosis is malignant melanoma. Malignant melanoma differential is Kaposi sarcoma. Okay, so legs are affected. Typical site is leg, they are saying. Okay, typical site is leg, then chest. So here chest also they have shown you, arm, neck, all that they have shown you. Multiple pigmented sarcoma nodules in the leg affects the skin or GI mucosa. Purplish to red subcutaneous nodules. See now again same thing they are back to. Purple red. So they are confused between the purplish red. Okay. So that's how it will be. Purplish red. Okay. So purple is purple and red is red. Where will you see all this guys? Kaposi sarcoma. Don't forget. Purpley, purpley, red, indurated, ulcerated, nodular. Okay. Uh, even in malignant melanoma, you have one nodular malignant melanoma, right? So, very similar. So, DD for Kaposi sarcoma is what? Malignant melanoma. Both are malignant. Oh, which one is better than for you? What do you think? See, malignant me melanoma, um, okay, we will tell you that. See, malignant melanoma, if you catch early, it's good. Otherwise, if it is late, it is uh, gives a very painful death. Kaposi sarcoma, AIDS one is bad, okay? The other uh, epidemic also is bad. But the classic is not so bad in Kaposi, okay? And then, how will you treat Kaposi sarcoma? Standard, radiotherapy, chemotherapy. So, doxorubicin, etopsicide, interferon have been tried to control the disease. Doxorubicin, 
a toposide and interferon have been tried to control the disease. So this is chemotherapy. This looks more like immunotherapy, radiotherapy. That's it about Kaposi sarcoma, guys. Bye-bye.